Howdy. My name is Nathan. And I'm Sam. And we're going to teach you some bass fishing trips. And the first tip is location. First, find water. You also want to find a place with natural bends and structure. Structure as in fallen trees, docks, weed beds, etc. Also look for natural bends and drop offs. And now I'm going to tell you when you should go fishing. Hey, you're going to want to go during the magic hour at dust and dawn. These are some knots you'll need for bass fishing. This is the clinch knot. It's a simple knot. You can use it for both monofilament and braided fishing line. You want to pass the line through the eye of your hook. Then you want to make seven or eight wraps. Then you want to pass the line through the gap in between the eye and the wraps. Pull your line tight. Pull on the hook. And there you have a strong clinch knot. Next I'm tying a Palomar knot. This knot is 80% strength of the line and is better for braid but can also be used for monofilament. Just pass the line through the eye of the hook. Pull 6 to 10 inches, then pass it back. Then make a loop like you're making an overhand knot. Then pass the hook through the loop that you made. Pull on both ends of the line. Make sure the loop clears the eye. Then pull on the hook. And there you have a Palomar knot. And here are some lures you want to choose. So these are your lures for just normal, light levels, pretty good, they can be windy, it doesn't really matter. These are for clear water with good light conditions. So first you got some crankbaits. They can be shallow or deep, it doesn't really matter. Um, you want to use uh, natural looking colors though, such as this shad or this bluegill. Uh, you can also use swim jigs. Um, again, see the natural color because you want that light permits them to see, so you want that natural color such as these bluegill type swim jigs. And then some spinner baits. Again, natural color. Everything, when, the clearer it is, the more natural you want to look. So you got some bluegill type spinner baits. You also can use top water frogs or mid water frogs, it doesn't really matter. Now, this is just generic because you can also use, like, I've seen people use mice and other stuff like that, just something that mimics an animal they would see day to day. And then finally, some soft plastics. Good old soft plastics do the job. You've got some worms, you've got clawdads, you've got lizards, all sorts of stuff. Alright, now these are your tackle for low light conditions. This can be getting close to nighttime, or this could be just murky water. So first we got some rattle traps. These are great because they make a lot of vibrations, they're very noisy, and they look flashy. Now this one isn't a really good example because it's kind of, you know, darkish colors. You want lighter colors, so we have to do this tiny one in. But these are rattle traps, yeah, and oh, forgot to cut that off, whatever. Next, jerk baits. Jerk baits such as this really nice Shadow wrap from Rapala. And this is a fun fact Sam actually hooked himself in this joke bait and they had to cut the hook off, so that's why it only has one hook. <laughs> fun times. And then these aren't commonly used to bass fish, but I thought we'd throw them in. They're usually used for pike or walleye, maybe. These are some spoons. Spoons. Again, they're just a light, flashy look. And then finally, well, not finally, buzzers. Again, bright and shiny um, colors. Okay, you might not be using this one to bass fish, but... <laughs> and then some spinner baits. But these need to be brighter colors and bigger blades for more attraction. As you can see, spec this is also a little bit too big, but who cares? These are some good casting techniques. For starters, grab your line and open your bail. Forehand cast. Pitch cast. 
Rollcast, and Flipcast. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you enjoy our tips. See you in the next one. Sam. <laughs>